Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is question. Well, this is now the paper uh, four from the International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge, um, the extended syllabus for paper four for the 0580 syllabus uh, variant one for May June 2020. Um, this is a paper which is a two and a half hour long paper, and there are in this question. In this paper, how many questions are there? Does it say? Normally tells you, doesn't tell you here. There's probably about eight, nine questions here. And we have to answer these in two and a half hours. Okay, we can find out how many questions there are by going to the end of the paper. We can see that there are altogether ten questions in this paper. Okay, so we want to, we're going to go through this paper. And I'm going to basically answer the questions one by one, okay, uh, question one by one. So there'll be 10 different videos made all together for this paper. And I will um, collate them according to, put them in playlists according to the paper and according to the topic that they are from. Okay, if there's a question that involves more than one topic, I'll put them in, put it in both playlists for both those topics. So now, um, without further ado, I'm going to go on and answer Question number one. So question number one is about um, Gretel. In 2018, Gretel earned $32,000. She paid tax of 24% on these earnings. Work out the amount she paid in 2018. So she basically paid 24% of 32000 That's what the question is asking us to find. Find 24% of 32000 So 24%. That's what the question is asking us to do. Find 24% of... 32,000, so you're going to write this as a decimal or a fraction, 0 0.24 times 32,000, and that will give us our answer. What happened to the pen there? It's gone disappeared. One second, that's better. Okay, so you have 32,000 times 0 0.24. 32,000, make sure you're okay. That gives me 7,680. $7,680. There's the answer to part A, part one. Then it says, in 2019, Gretel's earnings increased by 7%. Work out her earnings in 2019. So they're telling us to take 32,000. Okay, so the translation of this question is to increase, okay, by 7%, 32,000. So it's going to be 32,000 plus 7% of 32,000. So you can do this in a couple of ways. One way you can do this is you can say, all right, this is like 100% plus 7% of 32,000. You could find 7% of 32,000 and add it to 32,000. That's exactly what this is going to do as well. So this gives us 107%, which is one point. Let me write the steps down. 107% times 32,000 which is the same as saying 1.07 times 32,000. That's 107% as a decimal you divide by 100. So you're going to have 1.07 times 32,000. Okay, which gives us 34,240. $34,240. And as I mentioned, we could have done this first. We could have found 7% of 32,000. So 7 over 100, which is 0 0.07 times 32,000. And that gives us 2,240. And add that to 32,000. And it gives us the same answer. Okay, but this is a nice quick way of doing it, which will help us when we get to um, things like compound percentages and such. Then it says, well, the next question is actually about compound percentages. Bit of a coincidence there. I didn't, I didn't realize that. All right, so it says Gretel invests $5,000 at a rate of 2% per year compound interest. Calculate the value of her investment at the end of three years. So there is a formula that we can use. I mean, I don't like to use formula myself, but the way I like to do it is that this 5,000 is going to increase by 2% every year. So an increase of 2% means 100% plus 2% which is 102%, which gives us 1.02. So that's what you have to multiply it by every year, okay? Because it's every year that it's going to increase for three years. So 
basically you're going to have 1.02 to the power of 3 because it's going to increase three times okay um, times 5000 and that would give you your answer okay so 1.02 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5000 and that gives you answer which you well it's you round to two decimal places this comes out to two decimal places so you write it as it is they don't tell us to round it to anything so yes you'd write it as it. if it was more than this you would round it to two decimal places so 5306.04 5306.04 now there is a formula as i said that the new value of your investment is equal to the principal which is the amount that's invested uh, times 1.1 plus r over 100 to the power of n where r is this two so you write two here n is the number of years three that will give you basically the same thing because the that's five thousand and you have one plus r is two so that's two over a hundred which gives you zero zero point zero two to the power of three so this will actually end up giving you the same thing as this you have one plus 0 0.02 which is 1.02 to the power of 3 times 5000 i like to just use do it without the formula but anyway no problem that's fine then part c and now for part c it says one month gretel spent a total of 360 dollars on presents she spent one fifth of this total on presents for her parents two thirds of the remaining money on presents for her friends okay you gotta be careful here now this is a bit of a, a trick type of question okay they say two-thirds of the remaining money on presents for offense that's a very important um little phrase there because that will affect us it's not two-thirds of the 360 it's two-thirds of what's left from the 360 after she spent one-fifth of it on her parents so that, that's very key, very important for you to take care of that and she spent the rest of the money on presents for her sisters calculate the percentage of the 360 dollars that she spent on presents for her sisters so here uh, I think the best thing to do here would be to actually use the, the amount. So 360, okay, one times one fifth, that would be how much she spent on her parents. So if we do that, 72, I think, let's see, 360 divided by five, 72, so that's 72 dollars, that's for her parents. Okay, and the remaining money, what's remaining from that? Well, the remaining amount from that is equal to 360 minus 72 so we're going to do 360 minus the answer okay that's 288 dollars so there's 288 dollars remaining after she's done that spending so 288 dollars is remaining and she spent two-thirds of the remaining money on friends so two-thirds times 288 Okay, so you have 288 times 2 over 3, which gives you $192. So $192 on her friends. Okay, so that means um, calculate the percentage of the 360. The rest is spent on her sisters. So she spent 72 plus 192. That's how much she spent so far. That's what she spent on her her parents and that's what she spent on her friends and now we've got to work out what she spends on her sisters so 192 plus 72 whoops 192 plus let me do that again now 192 plus 72 that gives us 264 okay so therefore the amount that she spent for the sisters is going to be the rest um, which is 360 minus 360 minus 264 which is going to be 96 I think 360 minus the answer 96 so that she spent 96 on her sisters so we want to the percentage of the 360 that she spent for her sisters so the percentage will be 96 over 360 times 100 percent okay that's the percentage of 360 that she spent on her sisters so we have 96 divided by 360 
times 100%, which gives you 80 over 3, which is 26.7%. 26.7%. Okay, 26.7% is how much you spent on her sisters. So 3SF. And there's question number one answered. I think that was all there is to question number one. No, it's not. There's part D as well. Okay, now we're going to go to part D of question number one. It says Arjun earned $36,515 in 2019. This was his, an increase of 9% on his earnings on 2018. Work out his earnings in 2018. Here you have to be really careful. This is the type of question which many students make mistakes on. And I really like to use this method before and after. So 2018 is before, 2019 is after. We know the earnings after the increase. We know the earnings, 36,515 was after the earnings had been increased. We want to find what they were before the increase took place. So it's not asking us to increase this. It's asking us to find out what this was before this increase of 9%. So what we always do here is we call the before part 100% and the after part, we call it what's, um, you know, um, after the increase of 9% means it's going to be 100% plus 9%, which is 109%. Okay, when you increase this value by 9%, you have to multiply it by 109%, 1.09, and it gave you this value. So we're kind of doing the reverse now. We're finding the amount that it was before it was increased. So we can just use a simple type of cross multiplication, multiply 36,515, multiply it by 100, divided by 109, and we'll get our answer. It's, it's kind of like doing this, kind of like saying, okay, there was an amount, we don't know what it was, it was increased by 9%, so it was you know 109%, so 1.09 times that original amount, and that gave us our new value, which we know, 36,515. So X is 36,515 divided by 1.09, which will be the same thing as we get here. Okay, so we have 36,515 divide, times 100 multiplied by 100 and divided by 109, which is the same as doing what we said over there dividing it by 1.09 so that gives us 33,500 33,500 dollars there's the answer for part d that's called <coughs> reverse percentages all right then it says part e Aldrin and gretel each pay rent in 2018 the ratio of the amount each paid in rent was Aldrin 5 to 7 and gretel 5 to 7 uh gretel Arjun to Gretel, sorry, five to seven. Arjun paid five parts, Gretel seven parts. In 2019, the ratio of the amount each paid in rent was Gret Arjun nine to, to Gretel 13. Arjun paid the same amount of rent in both 2018 and 2019. Gretel paid 290 more rent in 2019 than she did in 2018. Work out the amount Arjun paid in rent in 2019. Okay, so here what we have is um, Arjun to Gretel is 5 to 7. So we can say um, in 2018, we have A to G. We have um, basically, let's say Arjun paid X. In 2018, the amount he paid was X. And let's say Gretel paid Y. That the actual amounts. We don't know what the amounts are. Um, but we know that um, the ratio is 5 to 7. So that's the ratio in 2018. And in 2019, let me put this over here. In 2019, we've got Arjun paying still X, but Gretel now pays more. She pays $290 more. So what she paid in 2018, you have to add 290 to that. And now the ratio becomes 9 to 13. So we can set up like a little equation from each of these and then try to solve them simultaneously because I know that the ratio of x to y means like x over y must give me the same answer as 5 over 7. That will give me the same ratio. So x over y is the same as 5 over 7. So I can say that 7x 
equals 5y. So that's one equation that we can have here. And similarly, I know that x over 9 will give me the same ratio as y plus 290 over 13. So if I, again, um, get rid of the fractions, cross-multiply, 13x equals 9y plus plus um, 9 times 290, which gives me 2610. Okay, so I have a pair of simultaneous equations, which I can solve, and I want to find the amount Arjun paid, and Arjun we called x, so I want to find what x is, so let's replace this y with x, so I know that y from this equation is equal to 7x over 5, y is equal to 7x over 5. So if I replace this y with 7x over 5, I'll have an equation with just x in it. So I have 13x equals 9 times 7x over 5 um, plus 2610. Now solving this should give me x, which is what we're trying to find, the amount that Arjun paid. He paid the same amount in, in both, so his answer is just going to be x. So we're going to take this, and uh, that's be 63 over 5. 63 over 5. All right, so you have 13, 13x equals 63 over 5x plus 2610. Now 13 is the same as 65 over 5. So you have 65 over 5x minus 63 over 5x equals 2610. That gives me 2 over 5x equals 2610 therefore x is equal to 5 times 2610 divided by 2 it's cross multiplication so i'm going to take that answer multiply it by 5 and divide it by 2 <coughs> and that gives me 6525 6525 dollars and there's the answer to this last part of the question All right so you've got to set up like these ratios um, for the two different amounts of two different years, 2018 and 19, and then solve them simultaneously to get what we're looking for, which was X, which we called X, which was what Arjun paid. Okay, so there's a nice worded problem there to finish off question one. Yep, that's the end of question number one. So, um, as I said, I will save this as one question in the playlist, um, and you'll find this in two playlists. One of the playlists will be for the paper, Okay, and the other play playlist will be for this topic. This, is, in fact, ratios and percentages are kind of mixed up um, a bit. So it's got, it's got, it'll probably be in both playlists for ratios and percentages. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.